Yes, let's get started. In this lecture, what I'm going to do is to analyze the pairs which I think are good trading opportunities. Of course, from a limited section, um, this will be the analysis of the price section this week. And you can, of course, use this analysis to take advantage of the price action. So let's start it. The dollar index first. Um, last week, the price had retraced on the dollar index. That is last week. The price has retraced. If you can see the weekly candlestick formation, the week before, the price hit almost at 98.30 level, which is a high, high formation. The price retraces. I am with this. With this formation in place, I'm expecting, I'm not expecting the price to have a bullish run straight away this week. What I'm expecting is for the price to do a little bit of retracement and aim for this daily level. That's what my expectation is, where you'll also have a retest of the moving averages. That's what my expectation is that from expecting the price so i'm expecting the price early in the week for the price to retrace slightly before the price continue further retracement it is a huge strong bullish trend and this is merely a retracement nothing more than this for this week yes i'm expecting a v dollar weaknesses later in the week that's what my expectation is let's go to the daily chart and have a look that's where we are right now now what I'm expecting is, as you can see, the price is sitting right now at a moving average. What I'm expecting is for the price, rise. That's the first part of the week where I'm expecting the dollar index to retrace. It can retrace here, it can retrace further. Retracement. And that is the main move I am looking for. Um, you can clearly see last week the price is sitting on a low, low formation. Wait for the price to form a low high here for the price continues to the downside. That's what my trading plan is. So if I pull out the FIPS, 61.8, 78.6, are good opportunities if the price presented, even if the price retraces to this H4 resistance area at 70, 97.9770, uh, which is also a good trading opportunity. So I will be looking for retracement opportunities on the dollar index. Well, dollar index is purely bullish, but my um, client is that I'm expecting the price to retrace first, capitalizing on this opportunity if it's presented. Again, the word is if it's presented. From the weekly perspective, I'm not expecting the price to straight away make another run to break these highs, which is at 98.14. Uh, I'm not expecting this. What I'm expecting with this is that the price will try to go higher, unable to break the high, form low high formation, and retraces further. So that's a dollar index. So I am looking for uh, retracement opportunities on dollar index will keeping this in mind this is gbp usd here i am interested in this and i'll i'll explain you why gbp usd week before huge retracement on this huge engulfing candlestick price retraces one point almost 1.29 all the way to 1.3160 and then the last week we had this nice retracement but you can see this very nice retracement nice scandal close with this wick rejection at the moving average on the daily level. So my because the price fails to break this engulfing candlestick, and this was merely a retracement forming a higher low formation, I will be expecting for the price to make this bullish run as long price doesn't reaches, doesn't break this level at 1.2900. So let's have a look on the daily chart. That's where that's what the trading setup is. Nice price nicely breaks breaks the trend line 
went all the way to 1.3180 retraces. That was last week's retracement, one, two, three, four, five days of retracement. 61.8 per Fibonacci price is sitting at 61.8 Fibonacci. If the price, let's see if, the, if we find the buyers here and find the higher low formation, look for the buying opportunities. In case of further retracement, price can retrace and again, this will be buying opportunities. Higher probable trading setups are at 78 and 88.6 Fibonacci's. Now, remember, as long price holds this, I am anticipating this move. Once the price breaks this, the setup will be invalid. Now, the dollar index expecting this, that, that retracement will give fuel to this analysis. If the dollar retraces and if it does, um, yes, that I will be expecting the price to go higher to the first target be at 1.3180 and ultimate target be around these monthly levels around 1.3 to 58. So that's what I'm looking for this week on GBP USD. Now, US 30, another pair, a very good pair last week. We had a sell trade on it. We went on for a sell opportunity last week on US 30, a successful sell trade on it. Uh, price melted nicely. Now what we are looking for this week, um, with this huge engulf, uh, strong wick candles taken again with the strong body, what I'm expecting is price to retrace first before it goes lower. Remember, we are sitting on a extreme weekly resistance levels. And again, I had a full breakdown on this. What I'm expecting is as long price fails to remain below this level, which is at 2680, I'm expecting the price to overall make a retracement at least, at least, at least to these areas. That's what my expectation is. Though this candle has a wick, but remember you've had this candle which has engulfed last one, two, three, four, four almost four weeks of price action. So sellers are pretty much in control. How you should be approaching this week. Price wick rejections on Thursday and Friday. What I'm expecting is for the price in the first half of the week to retrace higher. And you look for selling opportunities as, as soon price forms low high formation. That's what my trading plan is. So I'll be looking for selling opportunities on this. It can retrace further. Still, you've got the selling opportunities on this. Wherever price forms a low high formation, you can take advantage and you guys know precisely uh, the rules as to its low high formation. It looks a very good trading setup in my, my opinion. Again, Fibonacci kicks in. I'll be focusing again at between 61 to 88.6 Fibonacci to take advantage of this trading setup. Sell trading setup on US 30 again, try to maximize on this last week was extremely a profitable week with the analysis short trades. And again, I think we will see a continuation on this, but look for the selling opportunities from the, once the price retraces back near the weekly resistance, uh, resistance levels. Now let's look to, for another trading pair, yeah, USD uh, CAD Swiss franc. We've been trading this since last two weeks, I think. Uh, successful last week. We had a short trading setup on this, as I explained, uh, and we and the price nicely melted almost, not too much, but it's still 63 pips. And remember, all you need is 50 pips, 25 to 50 pips a week, a quality pips a week for a living, but as long you can always increase your volume sizes and use the method of compounding. Now the price is sitting on an extreme resistance level, a weekly market structure and resistance levels. You can see there has been rejections, one, two, and three. So I will be expecting the price to continue down. How do I see this? Well, with this price action in place, I will be expecting the price to retrace first again, retracement and continuation. This is the target and no, by no, I would definitely be expecting the price to hit at least 7.74. Uh, 
which is a very high probable trading setup. So guys, look for the selling opportunities once the price retraces. traces to these uh, levels that's an h4 level and that's your daily level again so the notch is on the 61.8 size stays at 70 0.7575 which is strong and again guys this ex this zone is also extremely interesting in case the price retraces all the way to the top of this bearish channel that would be an ideal situation. Again, if the price forms a low high formation at any stage, at any stage between this, that's your selling opportunities. I will be looking for only selling opportunities on this pair. The reason I've explained earlier, weekly looks pretty good. Still sellers in control. And I can see the price is at resistance forming a low high formation within the weekly market structure. It's, it looks to me a good trading opportunity. Again, low high formations. Now let's move on to Euro, US, Euro Yen. We didn't trade it last week, Euro Yen, for reasons I've explained in my lectures. In the previous lecture, where I, the lecture in my lecture where, where I had explained how to select the highest probable trading pair out of your pool of pairs. So this week, price is sitting on a weekly support level. That's where the price is. We are in a bearish market structure. You are sitting in a bearish market structure, so that is a lower low formation. Now, the trading plan is as long price remains above this level, as long, I say it again, as long price remains above this level, I will be expecting the price to move from lower low formation to low high formation. I'm not expecting a change in trend, only a move from low low to a low high formation for a new move to the downside. That's what my overall expectation is. It is a counter trend trade, Within a bearish trend on the weekly, remember it will be an aggressive trade. Just be very careful. Nice weekly candlestick close. You can see the rejection price went all the way to 122.40 levels and retraces all the way back to 123.43, nearly 100 pips. Now let's look at the daily chart on this. That's where we are on the daily. So if the price holds there, so I would be expecting the price accumulation and then goes higher so look for buying opportunities here remember again it's a counter trend trade what's your target level is that's what my target expectation is and i will be hoping and looking for selling opportunities around these levels that's 61.8 fibonacci also meets up there as you can see Good trading opportunity. It's a good. It could be a good trading opportunity as long as the price forms uh, some sort of support there. So that is my target level. So my trading plan is price to rise and then look for new low formation. That's what my expectation is. The first trade for the week will be a counter trend opportunity on euro yen. Looking for buying opportunities on this as long as price holds above one twenty two fifty levels and. Again, it might not go all the way there. It might just retrace this to 124, 25, or 30 levels, but you will have, it is an opportunity for nearly uh, at least 50 to 100 pips at minimum. That's what, what, that's what I'm after at the moment. And remember, once the price forms a low high formation, you got the trade with the trend. You got the trade with the trend. So this is a counter trend trade. You have a clear understanding on this as to the sort of trade you're getting into uh, gbp yen let me share this i am not looking for a counter trend trade on this and i'll explain you the reason um the reason is huge engulfing candlestick see how i changed my view from gbp yen and euro yen as to which of out of which i women i am interested to take this counter trend trade and i'm interested in euro yen not on GBP. And the reason is the price is not on a significant level, as you can see, where Euro US, Euro Yen was on a weekly support level. Look at the weekly candlestick, huge engulfing candlestick, whereas the weekly candlestick on Euro, uh, Euro Yen was a rejection, dodgy reje rejection, indecisive candlestick. So here, 
I am only be focusing on, which I'm expecting in the mid or the late half of the week, not to begin with. I'm expecting retracement on this, but I'm not interested in the retracement trade. What I will be waiting for is for the price to retrace on this. Nice confluence at 61.8, as you can clearly see. They've got Fibonacci's there, trend line resistance. Good trading opportunity if it's presented at 144 between 60 and 90. Uh, levels if there is a low high formation look for the selling opportunities or in case of deeper retracement you've got these numbers there let's zoom in slightly yeah that's my trading expectation is again guys price can retrace reject at 144 and goes down retraces further deeper retracement i'm not expecting the price to retrace more than this that's my deeper retracement at any stage price forms low high formation that is a sell opportunity that's what i'm focusing on again when gj G, gj will fall it means euro yen is also will stop its counter trend trade but i am more interested in gbp yen sell trade as compared to euro yen again remember guys it's an exotic pair move aggressively so it looks to me a very good trading opportunity in the middle of the next this week or end of this week because what i'm expecting is to begin this week a little bit of retracement so you shouldn't be trading both pairs but you could select one of them so if you're if you're selecting euro yen then my advice is yes you can look for counter trend trade on that it's riskier but there is an opportunity for the price retrace on it more aggressively as compared to the retracement on GBP yen. And hence, if you're trading GBP yen, my recommendation is that you shouldn't be trading a counter trend trades on this. Instead, focus on, wait for the main move, which is a sell opportunity, which is also a main move on Euro yen at the same time. I hope this makes sense. Uh, just give me a sec. Guys, uh, 